going to wait for a few people to jump on here. Lovely sunny day in Kansas, driving out of a car park. So I figured I'd just let it build Friday afternoon. It's a fantastic day, running around like a crazy person today. It's gonna scare my ticket. Say hi if you're jumping on, please say hi. Say hi, how are you, where you're watching from, any of that sort of stuff, all the cool stuff, and then I'll get into it in a sec. You get to watch me driving. How are you, Julie? Thank you for your interaction on the posts. Fantastic. Like I say, I see who's jumping on, say hi guys. Let's get some interaction happening so I can watch the road. That'll be really cool, even though I can multitask apparently. But, so, one day, one day until I head off to South America, which is really, really cool. Like, really cool. I haven't been that excited about it lately. Well, I have internally, but I haven't let it show because I've had a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of tough stuff. A lot of emotional stuff. How are you, Beckstar? You superstar? Had a lot of stuff going on and it's like all this stuff sometimes you can get you can lose track of everything that's going on and I tell you what the last couple of days had some good wins. Jeff, how are you brother? Ah oh, look at you, you got the happy couple on there. Fantastic to see. Jackie Cav. Not in your deathbed anymore. Nah, now we're talking, now we're talking. Throw some questions at me while I'm chatting too guys. Like I say, it's a couple of big wins the last couple of days, sort of highs, attention. Ease, whatever else was going on had some great people around me to chat to which is really really cool now I'm gonna be stuck in the middle of an intersection that sucks how long am I away for that's a really good question I leave tomorrow night um, I get to Peru on Monday I think it is so I've got a fair few flights I got five flights to get to where I'm going um, which is pretty cool actually it breaks it right up makes it a little longer but it breaks it right up um, and I come back on the 13th of May, so I'm there for like two weeks, two weeks, which is really cool. Going for a mastermind, just going to hang out in the jungle. You're going to see what's going on there. I'm going to do a, a really cool video vlog while I, while I go. But, but, like I say, I've been teasing a little bit this week with a, an announcement and things like that. Uh, myself and Tanya, we, um, we've been doing a lot of work together, a lot of personal work, um, creating a few things. Uh, we mentioned the other night, I think it was the last time we did our live feed in the car. I was shaking around everywhere. We're working on the, um, we've created something called the Harmonious Balance course. Well, you could call it that, but it's eight weeks. Eight weeks, and we've already had some great people who have jumped into this. I'm not even going to go into detail what it's about, but it's all a lot of the stuff that we've learned over the last two years, a lot of the stuff we've put into our routines and and all the trainings and seminars and everything we've attended. We've just jam-packed that all together. Um, those who are on the workshop and got the recording of the workshop, I know Bexter was on there as one who's watching here now and everyone else who did it. I know they, um, they got an absolutely value-packed three and a half hours, meant to be three hours, and... Um, <laughs> We even had to cut some out because it was epic, but that's gonna be like a real insight into the eight week course that we've created, which we were going to release. We were going to release it tonight, but we, myself and Tanya had a really good chat about it. Yes, you should be excited, Bexter. We've got a little surprise for you too. Might even message you after. I'll um, wait till I get home. Chat to Chi Chi. Um, but yeah, we're gonna release it, but I'm like, well, we're talking to each other we're like well how can we give the the most value to everyone who was already registered and whoever was jumping in and well with me going to Peru it's a big part about my journey if you want to call it that and everything I've been doing with the retreats last year has been a lot of personal growth but also learning the coaching game at the same time like I say it's my own personal journey but I've learned so many tools and so many things that I can use and if I don't teach them to other people I actually see there's no point in me doing a lot more yeah I can go on my own journey but part of my journey is to be able to help others be able to lift other people up in any way possible because everyone's different so the more tools I have the more I learn the more I can pass on so that's something that we spoke about and like I'd rather come back from Peru and throw some more into this course we've already created which 
I don't know what's going to happen in Peru, but I'm working with some amazing people who have got some epic, epic results, business-wise, um, spirituality, all that, every every essence of the word. If you want balance, these people are, are really, really creating that in their life, and they've got a lot of the results that I, I want. So I can add that into this course. So Bexday, you're going to get added surprise in there, and anyone else who's jumping in, like I say, um, had a few chats to a couple of people last night who were going to jump in, which is awesome. Anyone you know too, let us know who at my value. I know, Bexter, you've been talking to a few people. Um, let us know. Um, we're happy to help out to see if they're the right fit. It's not for everyone. But, like I say, it's pretty cool. So that's not really the announcement. I'm going to actually hold off until tonight, maybe. Should I hold? Yeah, there's no real announcement. There is. Being a bit cheeky now. Because I can. I'm actually in a really, really cool spot. Really good place right now, like I say, getting prepared to fly out tomorrow night. But what's happening is we've made a fair few things. I've been offloading a lot of stuff, really going minimalistic, if you will. Um, a lot of it's financial, but a lot of it's creating space too. And something that I've found, we can gather so much stuff over life and it can be material things. And that's what I've been offloading a lot lately. We store a lot of stuff emotionally too. And... Most of the time, the emotional stuff is attached to material things or it's attached to events which evolved around material things. And it's funny what can happen in here when you let go a lot of that stuff. Like a big one for me was to sell my boat and damn did I nearly, well, I cried. I've got to be honest. But that, that had a lot of memories tied to it. It had a lot of things tied to it, but it, it sat there for 12 months. And I wasn't creating any more memories with it. I wasn't utilizing it. And I'm like, well, at the end of the day, I sold it for cheaper, but at the end of the day, when I sold that, I felt like a relief. And I'm definitely gonna buy one in the future, but I had a lot tied into that. There was no need, a lot of emotions and everything like this. And it was a material thing. And what I've been working on is like, what can I release from my life? And it happened last year, I had to make space. I had to make decisions to move on from a path I was going down which served me well at the time but if I didn't release a lot of people from my environment and it worked both ways I got released from environments apparently but that's everyone has their choice but if I didn't do that I didn't create space for for all this amazing stuff to show up and like I say I'm fighting material things be it money value or not whatever it is it's created space for more new to come in because that's what you got to do you have to do that and Part of this is the Harmonious Balance Workshop, the stuff that myself and Tanya have been working on. I wouldn't have been able to do this before because I didn't have the, the capacity up here because I had so much other stuff going on that wasn't serving me to my higher purpose or where I was heading. And as soon as that happened, creative juices started flowing. So creating this course has just been amazing. But back to it, I wouldn't have been going to Peru. I wouldn't have been going on from there and I wouldn't be doing any more programs. And I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be able to travel like I'm going to travel over the next six months. I tell you what, already been going through. I've just booked, I've booked Peru, of course, because I'm going there now. I'm going to Sydney, uh, myself and Tanya, as soon as I get back. It's actually two trips to Sydney, which is fantastic. One for a whole weekend. Pretty sure Tony Robbins might be there. I don't know who that guy is. Some guy, big dude, whatever. <laughs> But also then in um, a couple of months from now going down for um, boot camp, which is just the ultimate personal development experience. And it just so happens it's with the company I'm with, which is amazing. And to top that off after that, New Zealand is definitely happening. We are booking the tickets today for, for that. And I'm pretty sure you'll see them posted all over our wall. New Zealand's on there far out. Might even do a round trip around Australia, but I know Melbourne's on the cards and maybe even Perth. That's going to be my next five or six months. So I go back. Yeah, Kendall for sure, New Zealand. Anyone in New Zealand too? Inboxes, comment, whatever. We've got some cool stuff happening there over the next couple of weeks too. We were going to go there soon, um, but August for us is going to be fucking cold, but I bought a jumper. <laughs> but that definitely anyone any kiwis on here message me like immediately we got to chat because we want to catch up with as many people in new zealand as possible when we get there but before we want to be able to set up something really really special something over there like i say we've been creating some stuff behind the scenes it's going to get released soon 
New Zealand is on the cards. We get the numbers and we know we will because you guys are amazing. But I go back to my point. I wouldn't be able to do any of this sort of stuff. I wouldn't be able to even think about doing this. Absolutely, Julie. Perth's probably going to be the end of year if I do Perth. Um, I've, got, I've got some of my team over there, some of my close friends, some of my ex-workmates who have been fantastic while I've made all these big changes in life. So yeah, Perth's there. But like I say, to be able to do this and to be able to have that capacity, if you will, to allow this to be able to come into fruition, you got to let go of a lot of stuff. you got to let, let go of a lot of your old, well, what you thought was serving you at your higher purpose or your higher self in the future, that changes. But if you're not aware of that, you hold on to stuff, you cling on to stuff. You, you, you don't, you don't move on and you get stuck. I, I tell you what, there's been times the last few months I've been stuck, massively, massively stuck. And even with any, any of the stuff I do, if I didn't have some great people around me, I'd probably be still stuck now, but not by them telling me what to do, just by them allowing me that time to realize and have that self-awareness then I was able to make decisions that'll be like, all right, this is gonna help me do this, this and this. All right, does that align with where I'm going? Does that align with what me and Tanya want in our life? And everyone who's in the environment now with the team, with everyone that I'm, I'm working alongside of, anyone, everyone who's around me. And I tell you what, it's, it's funny how much weight gets lifted off your shoulders when you make them decisions. So, as you can tell, I'm, I am in the zone lately. I'm pretty excited. It's been really, really a roller coaster few, few months, but all, all of it's coming into really um, alignment now, which is just some fantastic timing. Because I'll tell you what, hanging out in Peru with Regan Hillier, Juan Pablo, and the crew over there, oh, I can't even mention all the names. It's going to be fantastic, but not just hanging out, of course. You're going to see some epic, epic footage, guys. Um, like I say, I'm going to do a video blog. There's going to be a production team and everything over there. I'm going to highlight some of the stuff. I'm really excited about meeting some of the people in Peru. I've learned two words, hola and gracias, apparently. I'm going to say them in true Australian, just to make people be amused. But any questions, anything about what's going on, I'm going to talk to some people here. This afternoon, I've been asking what it's all about. But watch this space when I come back. Like I say, myself and Tanya with the eight-week program, that is gonna be epic, epic. We are taking people out applying for that right away. Um, we've already some people jumped in. Like I said, Bex is already on here, a few others we were talking to last night. We're only gonna take 10 people into that too, guys. So jump in now. Only certain people who who we believe we're gonna be able to get amazing results for. How are you, Tara? Cheers, Jackie Cav. Or is it Johnny Cav? You keep changing your name, brother. You're gonna to have to message me and say what I mean to call you. But um, yeah, that's about it, guys. It's um, it's pretty bloody exciting stuff. And I and I make that other point. I, I do a lot of this year for my own personal growth, my own personal reasons. But to be able to contribute, because contribution for me is probably one of my number one values. Growth is definitely, but contribution and the better version I become of myself to be able to give back to as many people as I can, be it in in my team, be it anyone in the environment. Be it to Desi Landon, how are you, brother? Watch your space, bro. Peru style this weekend, man. Gotta catch up and see how Bali was too, or if you're there still. Get confused with all these people I'm talking to. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for being on. Might be a sneaky little live tonight. I've been been absent from lives for a while. Many, many reasons behind that. Um, but thank you for being on. Watch this space. Travel, travel, travel. Personal growth travel more, amazing people, amazing things. See you later.